Bob. Hey everybody, this is Chris from the Summary Software team, and in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how you can image a T2 Mac live from the desktop with Recon ITR's live imaging feature. So you might be asking yourself, Chris, why would I want to do a live image over something like a bootable image? And there's actually a couple of situations that we've run into recently where a live image might actually be preferred. One of which would be if a firmware password is set on the Mac that the examiner does not know. Uh, if a firmware password is set and the examiner is not privy to that password, then they could be locked out of both recovery mode and the, the bootable options, and therefore would not be able to successfully boot to an external imager. The other situation that we've encountered is basically file vault encryption. So if there's file vault encryption and the examiner doesn't really feel like having to deal with uh, with all the bootable options, then file vault is automatically uh, decrypted once the machine is booted so that it can run properly. So those are the two situations that we've encountered fairly recently that could nudge you towards a live image over a bootable image instead. Now we're going to move on to what you actually have to do to acquire a live image. So before we even think about running Recon ITR, we need to make sure that Recon ITR has been given the proper permissions. So go ahead and make sure that your Recon ITR T7 SSD has been mounted. After that, we're going to go ahead and open up a system preferences window. So it should be the little gear icon down at the bottom, and it should also be able to be accessed via the Apple menu system preferences. Then we're going to select the security and privacy logo over here. It should be the little house with the lock icon on it. We're going to navigate over to the Privacy tab over here, and then we're going to select this lock icon down at the bottom. And this is going to prompt you for the admin password for the account that you're currently logged in on. Make sure, by the way, that that account is an admin account and not a standard user account. Then we're going to select, uh, obviously, the Use Password button, unless your fingerprint happens to be one of the ones that's installed on it. And we're going to go ahead and type in the admin password right here. And you're going to hit Unlock. Then we're going to scroll down on the left side here until we see full disk access. It should be the little folder icon right here. And Recon ITR normally wouldn't be included on your user's MacBook. So we're going to go ahead and select the plus icon right here. Then navigate over to the Recon ITR partition. It should be under the locations drop down. Then we're going to select Recon ITR and hit open. And this should add it to the list, so just make sure that the checkbox next to it is checked so that Recon ITR has been given the proper permissions. After that, we should be able to select the lock icon to prevent further changes because we shouldn't have to grant any additional permissions to Recon ITR. Full disk access should be all we need. After that, we're going to go ahead and launch the Recon ITR application. So we select the Recon ITR partition down here. And then you should see the root level of your Recon ITR drive. So we're just going to double click on our Recon ITR app right here. This is going to open up the latest version of the Recon ITR live imager. And what we need to do from here actually is navigate over to the disk manager screen. So this is going to open up a list of all of the connected disks because we actually need to figure out what disk we even need to image. So if you're working with a T2 Intel Mac, what you're going to want to image is going to be this disk right here, disk 1. Uh, disk 1 is basically going to be the synthesized disk, and this is the disk that macOS actually operates with, because as we know about T2 encryption, it makes the physical disk not able to be touched, because it has a hardware level encryption that is unique to the drive. So the one that we're going to be interacting with is going to be disk 1 right here. Uh, another way that you can determine that this is the correct disk is to make sure that the partitions below it line up with what you see here. You should see your Macintosh HD data, your preboot, recovery, and VM partitions. You should also see a Macintosh HD partition, which is going to be your system partition. And then you should also see an update. So once we have our so correct disk selected, we're going to go ahead and open Recon Imager. So just double click on the Recon Imager button right there, and then it's going to prompt you for the admin password. It's going to say that it requires an admin password to run some of its components. So we're going to type in our known admin password and hit OK. And then it's going to start loading Recon Imager. 
once we're in the Recon Imager interface, the rest of it's actually pretty simple. So just make sure that you have the Disk Imager tab selected at the top left. And then we're just basically going to go down the list. So for our source, we are going to choose Disk 1 as we have previously established. This is the synthesized disk and the one that we're actually going to be imaging. For our image type, we actually have two options. Uh, we have sparse image, which we would recommend if you are going to be pulling your image into Recon Lab. Sparse image is a much newer Mac format, so uh, Recon Lab actually parses this image the best. Uh, but if you are going to look at pulling this image into something like a, a Windows-based analysis tool, so examples would be Axiom, FTK, Encase, anything on that side, uh, you're actually going to want to go with DMG. DMG has been around in the, the community for much longer, and a lot of the Windows tools do have support for it. So DMG would be your preferred option if you are going to pull over the image into something like Axiom, FTK, or Encase. For your destination drive, uh, this can be either your Recon ITR, uh, SSD, or if you have an external SSD that you would prefer to shoot it to, uh, then you can choose that from the list here. If you are going with an external SSD that's not your Recon ITR, we would recommend reformatting your drive to HFS Plus or APFS. Uh, HFS Plus is commonly referred to as macOS Extended Journaled. It's the one that we typically recommend because it has the best chance of pulling over uh, metadata and timestamps and all of all the good stuff that you want from all your images. So uh, make sure that you have one of those two formats selected. Again, that's either HFS Plus or APFS. Then after that, just go ahead and choose your image name. Uh, for our cases, I'm just going to type in image to be lazy and, uh, you know, efficient. <laughs> then after that, you have your case number, your evidence number, your examiner, custodian name, description. Uh, this checkbox right here just chooses if you want to add the machine serial number. Please no one steal my Mac. And uh, any notes that you want to add can be added right there. So... After that, after all of your stuff is, is all good to go, you can just go ahead and select the Start button, and you'll get this Imaging Info section right here. This is basically just going to summarize what you're, what you're doing and everything that you have filled out. And then once you're ready, just go ahead and hit Continue to start imaging. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and if you have any ideas for any other videos you want to see in the future, definitely feel free to drop a comment. We're more than happy to cater to what you guys want to see. Go ahead and leave a like if you enjoyed this video, and remember to subscribe to the channel for more videos like this here in the future. Again, thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day.